Okay, good morning everyone. I think all, most, of, most of you are already know Solid Code since you guys have learned this one in the, uh, I think, the second semester in your first grade year. And also we, you have using the street light as a practice before. So I think you know what the things we are going to do in this time. So first thing is let's go to file, import and choose a model for per pixel painting. We are not going to use in the sculpting part, we're just using the texture painting part. And first thing is import the zombie skin. And for now we are using Blender, so just choosing Blender and we don't have any subdivision, so don't choose in subdivision, can keep the UV map, that's very important. And if you want to enlarge your size, you can enlarge for now, you can just choose in 4K or 2K. And for this one I will just choose in 2K. If you want a bigger, for example, like when you are going to do the scene or your environment texture paint, usually I will enlarge the texture because this part we have to do some close up view. So I will enlarge this one. But for this time, I will keep like this. Just click OK. All right. So now we have this one. As far as you can see, right now we have one eye, only just one eye, and also hand and head, teeth and the gums and your tongue. And for now, it's better for you go to the pen object and to rename your object. So for the cube, it is about a head. Just call this one H E A D head. And for this one, it's your eyeball. And I will call this one E Y E. And this is the left eye. Okay. And for the cube, what's the what's this part? Oh, gums. Okay, that's mouse gum. M O U. Gums. Okay, and for this one, uh, there's a tongue. I'm not so sure. I'm not sure my spelling is right, but I don't. Uh, it's not a point. Okay. Keys. And what else? This is the lack. And uh, sorry, lack. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with my? Okay, sorry. I think lack. And what happened to my L key? Okay, this part. Hand. And this is the right, uh, left hand. Left hand. And this is the right hand. Okay. So, now we have this one. And also, I prefer you guys to code your stuff based on different layers. And you can separate your layer very completely, or you can try to do that one more simplified. So probably because we haven't imported uh, the clothes part, so you can base on different color and also another thing to, to control that. So it's up to you. So I will import now. That I'm go let's go into import another one. Import and choosing clothes. And for sure, let's keep just keep the same setting. And import them inside. All right. This part you can see is a little bit weird. Why is that? Because this part it was inverted. So city code doesn't recognize the UV map right here. Uh, we can fix that later. So I would just leave that like that. So first thing, is, this part is the skirt. This RT. And this one is the code. 080. Okay. And this one is your pants. So let's just pen. P-A-N-T. And your uh, necktie. And for this part is your shoes. All right. So now we have all of them. So we can start to do the painting. And if you want, you can just turn off the rest of the part because oh, sorry, let's turn on the hand part and also the necktie part. And for the leg and teeth. I think we don't need the teeth for now and also because the color of the eyes and tongue are different from your skin so we can turn off all of them. We can just keep like this and start to do the pen. And I will call this one that's the skin color. Alright? So we can start to do the pen here. And for now, usually I prefer to separate the color part, which means diffuse part, with the UV and dips part. So I will turn off the dips and also turn off the glossiness, just using the color. And we can control the glow. Well, if you want, you can turn on the glossiness. 
or make your model simplify. But I would turn definitely turn off the dips because I would do that later. All right, so now let's go to choosing the color, probably darker, and make this one. I'm not so sure about it's up to you. We can choose in a green color, probably a little bit too, a little bit dark, and we can choose in these kind of rectangular selections and just choose open and quickly do the pendant. Okay. And once you finish, you could go to the texture editor, you will see it was coloring. And you also, right now, you can also turn on the symmetry. So just turn on toggle symmetries. Sorry, symmetry. And we can turn on the symmetry. And right now, I think uh, it's. Let's turn on this one. Ah, sorry. Let's turn on this one. I think it's model X. So let's turn on the X symmetry. And make sure it was working in Apple. Alright, so now we have. But another important thing is that because for now the UV map I'll put you on, we just unwrap about the left hand and right hand they are not completely symmetry on the UV map. So it will cause some problem when we are going to use in the symmetry one. But well, it's uh, just a little tiny problem, so not the matter that much. Just, just quickly pan this one. All right. So now we have the basic textures, and so second thing is you can still keep working on the color, but I will create another new layer. I will call skin, and let's call this one this. So basically, for this part, you don't have to worry about this one because. It, when we explore, it will automatically combine with the UV map, including normal map, diffuse map, and all the rest. So you don't have to worry about that. But for now, I'm going to turn off all of them and start to do the texture pen. And for this one, uh, if you want, we can actually using the smart material for now. So I think for this one, we can first thing I'd like to do is to create some kind of dirt. Usually, I like to using the dirt material. So let's click this one, and we can just choose in. Um, it will convert to the curvature smoothing to make the your UV map work. Let's take. It will take for a while for backing, so let's wait. Okay, so now it has already finished the texture pan, so we can start to do the painting. You can use it manually for drawing, but it will take a lot of time. So. Rather than that, I'd like to use in fill and use in fill layers. So let's just choose a few of the entire layers. Well, so for this part, it will automatically create this kind of section. And on the surface geometry, it will also create this kind of little dot. I like that a lot. So let's create one more. All right. And uh, this part looks a little bit weird. I'm not so sure what's going on here. But anyway. We can, if you don't like that, we can just use an eraser to erase to wipe out this part. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to turn off that. And let's use an eraser. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, so that's the part which I I didn't pan. Sorry for that. So let's turn on. Okay, so now let's finish this part. Let's redo that again using fill and fill layers. Ah, sorry, we can turn off. Okay, looks nice. And for this part, let's go back to brush and finish this area. And don't forget to turn off your diffuse, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so now we have the basic, and also right here we have the basic. Looks nice. So let's create one, uh, probably another one. You can create one more. Though. So let's call this one skin. Uh, no more. Just to just to create more detail on your skin. So for this time, you can choose in some probably rusty metal. I think usually, based on my experience, I like to merge this one. So merge this one with another material. Just change the opacity, uh, the, the mix property right here. As far as you know, the best part of the 3D code is that it looks it's very similar to uh, Photoshop. So we can use in layer property to change the material. So let's choose in the field. Again, 
It's choosing fill and apply to all the texture layers. So now it becomes a metal bar. So let's choose in another different blender way. You can choose in multiply or probably let's choose in. Oh, this one looks scary. Mm, maybe I will use in soft light. I like to use soft light. So now it has a oh, that's pretty weird. It's kind of metal like effect. So let's change the opacity probably into 20. Okay. And for the roughness, metal property, I will choose into 10. All right. So now we have this kind of textures. And let's go back to the skin dips. And let's go back to the brush. And I would like to choose in this one, the dips and opacity brush. And now you can start to do some kind of detail. So we can use in the stencil. Turn on the stencil one. And you can turn on your brush and now I don't need the color so I will turn off the color and closeness but I will turn on the dips and turn this one into a very smaller one so now let's start to do the painting and now we don't need the the smart material so you can turn off them but we need this one sorry ah too much but, but that's okay we can adjust that later so but the you this it seems like the well Let's try local space. Okay, so for local space it works, but for the global space it doesn't work. Let's try to do that. Let's choose in uh, your old fan. Uh, this part would for miss the color. That's okay. We can fix that later. This one we can actually you can try to scale down this part so it won't look that large. Just make this one randomly. And for this one as well, let's just choose an old plan. For now it looks crazy, but it's okay. We can adjust the layer property later. Alright, and for this part as well. Okay, and now let's try to change the opacity probably just into 20 will be fine. And let's take a look and also the deep opacity to change this one into 10. Okay, so for now it looks nice. We have these detailed detail patterns on the geometries. For opacity, I think it can be 100 because I just want on the patterns. Okay, so now let's go back to the color part and I'm going to use in brush and I will turn off the, uh, the, um, the stencil. So now I'm going to use in another different color to make your stuff more lively. So for this one, I'm choosing probably some light, more light color. Uh, well, I'm going to choose this one. Turn off the Oh, too much. Let's choose in the sensor, that is dips. And for the opacity, let's choose in probably just 11. For the border is too sharp. So I would like to choose in what happened to this part. Ah, sorry, I, cho I should choose in a brush rather than pencil. So I choose this one. And uh, for the opacity, it can be lower. So I will choose the smooth 100 for the opacity, lower. So now let's start to make up. Make up for your zombie. Okay, for this part, we can just do the picture pen. Make it some part lighter, and for this part, well, it's supposed to be darker, that's okay. And if you want, you can also use in, uh, this part to create some pattern right here. And for your hand as well, let's just do that. For the upper part, I hope it can be lighter, and up, 
the inner part it could be darker so this part as well so this part that's the same thing probably the dips supposed to be even lower so I would choose some point Okay, just like that. And for the inner part, it's supposed to be red color, so let's choose in red color. And for this one, it's supposed to be color a uh, color area, so let's choose in the color area and start to pen. For the nose as well. Right, so make some part be red color. Since it's a zombie, so using imagination. This is the PBM material, so basically it's supposed to include in all this data inside. So I will try to make this one as real as possible. Okay, so now let's go back to skin dips, and I will turn off the color, turn on the dips, and probably make this part have some kind of, well, this kind of a weird tumors. I hope all of you can try to make your stop but at the beginning, at least, don't choose in that kind of low polygon modeling. Try to make your stuff more uh, details. It doesn't have to be perfect proportions, but it's supposed to be to have this kind of details. Otherwise, when you are going to be, if you be asked to make something super realistic or some uh, highly detailed model, I think you don't have an, enough ability to do that because you just didn't know how to, plus how to deal with the detail. Start with the hard one and then go back to the easy one. I would, it's not dis diminish that kind of Japanese cartoon style or uh, the low body style. I like that part, that kind of style, but uh, for the technical part, it's really not that hard, that hard at all. So at the very beginning, I hope you guys can try to make your stuff more complicated. And also for this one, we can try to use it under the dips map, we can try to create the detail right here. To create, create some crease on your geometry patterns. Okay, just like that. Also for this part. You can do that as well. All right, and also here. Ah, don't forget to save your file, otherwise if you crash, you, you will lose anything. Let's call this one zombie. Capture. Okay, so for this one, so basically you know, the texture painting is not only about the texture color, it also including the detail, because we are can, it's impossible for us to sculpt in such a detailed thing and using that for modeling. Uh, 
even for Unreal engines, you cannot it cannot handle such a high polygon model. So uh, it's very important to know this technique. And also, I think for now, as far if you have a lot of interest in CGI and uh, three, you know we can actually sculpt in a higher level of mo higher detail of model and then back the detail to the textures. But that's another thing. That's another technique, not unlike this one. But basically, this one for now I'm showing to you is more traditional and it's more, uh, I think it is more standard. And if you want to use in the sculpting and then do the retypology, it's also okay. But if you want to do so, you really need to know the, understand how to make a nice typology. So now let's try to do some muscle right here. And if you want, we can turn on this one as well. And you can turn on this to create more patterns. All right, so pretty much finished for this one. So for this part, let's try to create some more detail right here. Just do a very quick way, okay? All right. So I think I will just stay right here. Ah, let's finish the nail. So let's choose in the white color. For this time, for this one, I will turn on all fan, but probably without dips. So let's choose the color and start to pan. And for this one, the opacity go back to 100. It's better for you to pan this one because this once you pan this, it will look more detailed. And probably we can make this one a little bit deep. It has some yellow color inside, so it will look more like a zombie since it was co a corrupted course. So we can try to make that. Okay, looks nice, right? Details. Fairly okay. And you might find out that some part is really hard for painting. Actually, that's because the UV. Because for now, uh, we're using the manually UV, unwrap UV, that's a good thing. But sometimes, for manually UV map, if you take a look, actually, it's not completely follow the original typology. The size will be different. The size of the area will be different. So, in that circumstance, it will be really hard for you to do the pen the texture pen. All right. So let's quickly make finish this part. Okay, so now let's assume this one has been done. Let's save. Now let's turn on the rest of the part, the eye and your gums, teeth, tongue, and teeth. Okay, and actually for now we can turn temporarily turn off them, turn off the rest of the part because I don't want to paint on them. So let's choose in, uh, where is the eye? Okay, choosing all of them. Choose the left hand as well. Let's go back to layers. So for now we have turn off the rest of the part so we can just focus on this area. Let's give them a color first. Let's choose in the rectangle and I'm going to paint on them. Choosing all of them. So give them some closeness color. This is the base color. Let's finish the rest of the color first. So for the tongue, I will turn off the T's. And the, okay, I think just turn off the T's. And let's go to the red color. Click OK. And let's pen. Make sure it was cover all of them. Cover all the part. And ah, sorry for that. I didn't notice that. Let's choose in the white color again. 
Ah, looks okay. You might wonder why I have this color, because right now I'm still working on the stencil, so you will create these kind of patterns on the geometries. That's perfect for our eyeballs, right? So let's go to the front view and turn off the perspective. I'm going to draw the eye part. So let's choose in the black color, choosing the circle one, and start to pen. We can turn off this something now. Mm. Okay. Mm. So front view again. This part I'm not so sure what's going on, so let's choose in the manual pen. Probably, okay, so that's the problem about UV map. Alright, this part, oh, okay, fairly okay. So we can choose in, thanks to, thanks to God, we can use in the manually sketching to fix this area. Alright, let's go to the front view. Probably we need more, so let's choose in. Uh, another color, maybe something dark blue. I don't know, this part is completely based on you, so you can try to do it by yourself. Alright, so now we have. And for this part, let's try to use in the stencil, and let's use in some deep red color. And uh, you can just use in the... Ah, sorry. I think that's just using a rectangle for cover everything. It will be easier for us. Right? Quick and very nice. And also for the dips, I want to do the same thing. Turn off them and use in the dips. So to create some patterns on your geometries. Actually, we can use in fill because it will be easier for us. So let's just use in fill, choose in layer. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so now let's turn on the T's. So I think there's nothing special. Oh, I will just randomly draw some little patterns on that and if you want you can use in the color as well let's go to the color and we can probably give them some light yellow color since uh, but very light just very light very light color for the back part I think it's not a matter so I would just keep like that let's turn on everything let's go to the Head power and turn on the left, left hand, right hand. Let's take a look. Oh, the eyes looks pretty weird, uh, but that's okay. All right, so basically, let's take a look in the perspective view. We have already finished the skin part. So for the rest of the part, it's about the close part. And the close part probably is not that hard at all. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Alright guys, so in the last tutorial we have already finished the skin part, so now let's take a look about the close part. You can turn on off them, but for this time, well, I will turn on off them. So let's just turn on. And now go to the layer. I'm going to lock the layer right here, because right now I want to have a new layer for putting our clothes. So let's choose, just lock all of them. Okay, and now let's go to create a new layer. I will call this one close color and close tips. And I will I make another one which named close no more, but that's nothing special for that. It's just for uh, create more detail. So let's start with the color first. So uh, the color all of them are different. So I would start with the uh, the code first. So, what kind of color you want for the code? Well, I think we can just give this one probably a uh, uh, probably a brown color like this. 
and using the just using rectangles for creating a color. So now the opacity is supposed to be 100, and we can turn on the stencil. We don't need that part for now. Go to the front view. Ah, we should not turn on the glossiness. So let's turn off the glossiness first. If you want like glossiness, well, it's okay for you to do that. But uh, if you need glossiness, it will make your model looks like leaders. So it looks a little bit weird. I would say weird. Hmm? Ah, sorry. I think. Sorry for that. I think it's still better for us to turn off the rest of the model, otherwise sometimes we still will accidentally paint on that. So let's turn off them. Alright, so also as far as you can see the hand, we still paint on that. But it's okay, we can fix that later, but for now I will turn off them. Let's turn off your hand. Okay. So pen on right here. Make sure all fan have been colored. Okay, so now we have the basic color on that. Next part, let's go to the smart material. Again, I really love using the dirt. So let's go to dirt, and you can choose this one. And I'd like to cover everything, so choosing your fill and layers. Ah, sorry, we just some accidentally go to the wrong map. So let's choose gifts and fit layers. It doesn't have much difference. Let's do one more time. Okay, so probably I'm choosing another more deep. No more third more thirty one. Choose this one? Okay, nice. So as far as I can see now we have the basic patterns. One more. Alright, so another one that I'd like to use is the leader or fabric. You can choose in a fabric one, I like this one. And but I will turn off the color, but I will leave the depth and the closeness. So let's choose either. So now once you cover this one, you will see the patterns. And one more. And you, if you want to have more detailed pattern, you can increase the number right here. So choosing probably 300. So now as far as you can see, the pattern is more obvious. Alright, looks nice. So now let's go back to the color part. Let's choose in the color area, choose in the dark one, and you can choose in the texture pen, using the brush, and start to do the painting. Now we don't need to use in the uh, small material anymore, so let's just turn on the color, and we can start to do some different color painting. For this one, choosing the local space, I think it's supposed to work. This part is the back side, so inner part is impossible for you to do the texture painting. Also, we will not see that. Let's do the coloring. This area as well. Okay, 
For this far, I will leave you some more freedom, so I'll just show you a little technique. Okay, probably just like that. Alright, so the jacket has been finished. So now let's turn on the rest of part, let's turn on the skirt. The skirt, well, this part is a little bit weird. Anyway, let's take a try to finish this one first. Let's go to the give them some basic color and using fill. Alright, let's use fill. And then again, let's go to dip and choosing the small material fabric. And that's using turn on open and I don't need the color. Choosing the layer and choosing yes. So now we have the fabric textures. And next part, you can try to give them some dirty material. Let's go to here, choose this one, and layer. And also, I want to have color, so I will choose the color again. Okay. Makes it a little bit dirty. Now let's go to brush and choose in some more darker color and start to paint. Right here, ah, sorry, it's too solid, so let's choose in probably just 4% and start to pan. Alright, so let's just keep this one like that. Now let's go to the pants. For the pants, how should we do that? Let's just give them the random color. So let's choose in probably a red, deep red color and using fill. No, oh, sorry, for now we are using the small material. Let's choose in the color right here. So let's now let's go to layer. One more time. Okay. Now let's turn off this small material and go to the brush, choosing the color. And uh, let's use in the rectangle color. And now turn on this one. Ah, sorry. We should turn off the tips, so we don't need that. This part is inverted, so it's impossible for us to give them color, but that's okay. If you want to give them color, we have to give that part some thickness. We can fix that later, or we can just ignore them. Alright, so now let's go to normal and go to, you can use in leader, uh, sorry, leader. You see, probably this is a leader pants. So let's choose in this one and go to fill and choose in layer. And but for now, I don't want a color, I want the dips and the closeness. So now let's choose in layer. Okay, oh, a little bit too much, I think. So let's undo that. And for the opacity, let's just choose in probably 30. Right? And then layer. Hmm, still too much. Alright, let's use an eraser. We can wipe out the tips. So, let's use in the eraser. But not all of them. The transparency is choosing a certain. And using the pen to lightly wipe out the tips. Okay, so let's go back to close color, choosing another color, probably more dark and deep color, and do some painting right here. Oh, sorry, 
Okay, we should use this one. Ah, right now we are still working on smart material. That's okay, I think it also looks nice. I will leave the detail for yourself, to, for you to finish, okay? Because it's, impo if you, it's impossible for me to finish all the detail. And it, there's always some space for you to move in forward. Alright, so there's the pants. So finally, let's go to the shoes. And for the necktie, we can do that later. For the shoes, let's just in choosing the leader as the basic one. So let's choose in the leader, turn on everything. And using field color and choosing layer, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, fairly okay. Maybe one more time. All right, a little bit weird because the pattern is too strong. So we can actually go to eraser and uh, turn off the color and glossiness. Just choosing the the tips and start to wipe out. Otherwise, it will look weird. Right? Wipe up. And now let's go to the color part. Choosing a brush, probably using another color. Something like that. Mm. Wrong color. Okay, something like this. And turn on the color, turn on the closeness, but I will turn off the dips. I don't need a dip now. Let's go to a side view, or from view, let's use the rectangle, I think it will be easier. Just say like everything. I think I don't want to spend too much time on that. Okay, let's assume that's already finished. So let's turn, go to the last one, the next time. The next time I will just give this one a very rough red color because right now I want to save more time for this tutorial. So let's choosing a red color and probably go to the deep part and using the fabric, give this one uh, some patterns on geometries. Alright. Okay. So let's assume we already finished. So let's turn on everything. Just open. And turn off this one. And I don't need the symmetry. Just turn off the symmetry. Turn on the perspective. Take a look. Okay. Looks fairly okay. So now let's don't forget to save your file. Okay, so now let's assume we have already finished the texture pan. For the detail, I hope you can finish by yourself. There are still a lot of things you can do, including probably the textures part and also create some different color on the clothes. Alright, so that, anyway, let's assume we have already finished this one. So, right now let's take a look. Before we export the texture and go back to Blender, you can see there is a node which tell us several UV sets are sharing the same name. Please rename using texture mesh and texture resolution. What's happening? Actually, for now, we have imported two models into this 3D code scenes. And one is the skin, another one is the clothes. But for now, they share the same name. So right here, all of them code default. So if we directly export all of them into OBJ format, it will back them texture together, so the UV map will will be overlapped. In order, to, in order to in, avoid this kind of situation happen, let's go to a texture, and now mesh and texture resolution. For the first one, let's call this one skin, and the second one, let's call this one clothes, and click choosing OK. Don't forget to save your file. 
And now let's go to File, Export Object Type, and Textures. And for now, we need to choose in Blender. You can choose in Blender, Cycles, or everything. I would choose in Cycle. And basically, for now, you don't have to change anything, just choose in Export. And you can choose in a name. So I will use in Zombie O. So let's wait for a while. Alright, so now let's go to the folder which you will choose. Now it has created a skin folder and a clothes folder. Let's go to the skin folder and take a look. So basically it has already backed the material to the uh, PNG to a PNG file and also full of clothes. As far as you can see they are separated and also it looks fine. So now we can go back to Blender and bring this texture back to our model. Okay, so now we have to go back to Blender. Let's turn on the shade no editor. And also right here we need to take a look about our model. So first things let's go to here, let's assign a new textures. Actually we can give a textures which named skin and another one which names clothes and assign all this that is too measurable to the rest of part. So let's just go to here and create a new one. I will call this one Z Skin. That's K I N. All right, and we can import the things we want. So it basically, it's an image editor. Let's just go to image texture, open up the folder. So this one, the first one is for sure diffuse. And connect here to the side and. Go to the material preview and take a look. Okay, so it works. And for the rest of the part, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy this one and open other new one. Actually, you don't have to put all these texture into this one, into your model, because some of them doesn't have many minutes. For normal map, I will import them and create a normal map node. So let's go to normal map and choose this one, color to color, normal to normal. Alright, so I think it works fine. And I would like to turn off the overlay. So let's turn off this one first. So it works fine. And what about the rest of her? So also I'd like to import uh, roughness and metallic. So let's choose in here, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Actually you can try to import all plan all at once, but uh, I would do the traditional way to so just connect this one to metalness. The metal is, I guess, doesn't have much use, but we still can try to use that. And for this one, let's Ctrl C, Ctrl V for copy, skin, and uh, the final one, roughness. Connect here to the roughness. Okay, so for the roughness, it makes this part probably a little bit too glossy, too shiny. But that's the thing. That's okay. Alright, so let's go to choosing a hand and give it a new material and I will choose in Z face. Right? That's the Z face. Uh, that's so not Z face, sorry for that. That's another model. That's the old one. I will choose in a Z skin. Okay, so perfectly. Let's rename this one because I think I have multiple models inside. And for this part, let's just give them a, a again Z skin Q, this one. Go to here, the skin queue. And for the eye, again, that are all fan are the skin queue. This one as well. Ah, sorry. I think for this part, because we didn't assign the UV map for this. So we can just delete that. And shift D for copy. And for now, let's set the original point to the origins right here. And just go to items and choosing negative ah sorry let's control A for apply the locations and I would like to apply the scale as well alright and choosing negative 1 ah sorry shift the D and choosing negative 1 alright so basically the eyes has been down and for this one again the skin keys again the skin Punch the skin. Alright, and how about the clothes? That's the same thing. I will delete this one. Alright, so let's cre create a, another one called the clothes cube. 
And now let's go here, shift to A, go to image editor. There will be some error happen right here, but well, we will see. Let's go to close and choose in law diffuse and connect to here. All right, works. And also let's call out the normal map. And shift the A, you have to call out a normal map right here. Color to color, normal to normal. All right, and what else? The roughness, right? Let's turn on the roughness. And go to color. I think for the metallic, I will ignore them. So just leave that like that. And for this part, let's just import the Z equals 2. And for all the rest, I think it's the same. Ah, sorry, not skin 2. Z close 2. For the skirt, that's the same thing. Choose the Z skirt. Z close 2. And for the shoes, for the shoe, we have to mirror letter. So let's choose in Z close 2. Okay? And for this part, let's just delete that. And for this one, let's shoot the D. And again, just mirror it. Alright. So basically, it's pretty much finished. Uh, and how about the. Okay, it's finished. And you can take a look at things right here. There's some error happened right here, right? Why, what's wrong with this part? It doesn't look perfectly. Well, let's take a look. Uh, first things I'd like to assign some color for the mustache and also the shoe string. So for this part, I will choose in the hair. That's just a simple black color. And because this that part, I think it doesn't have to be very detailed. And let's go to the render mode. Go to render. And we can create probably uh, area like like this one. And press R and Y for rotations. And go to here and change the light power. Okay, so fairly okay, I guess. Let's create a plan. Go down. All right, and let's take a look. Ambient occlusion, bloom color. Uh, screen space refraction and refractions and also let's turn on a contact shadow right here to make this one looks better with R and Z rotation to D where is that? Okay. Choose this one, shift the D and press R and Z for rotation. Alright, so basically we have finished the texture, but for this one it's not very detailed because we haven't finished the, the, we haven't finished the rest of the part, so it's not very, for a certain area it's not very detailed because we haven't finished the, uh, the cell, including the, the, deta the detailed textures and also some uh, bump or normal part, we haven't finished that. So now let's take a look about the error part, okay? So let's go to the material preview, it will save more part. What happened to this area? We have to take a look about the face orientation. Right? And let's go to the solid mode and choosing the face orientation. Right now you will see this part actually it was in red color. So which means it was an inverted face. So it create make this model has some error right here. Okay? So this part has some error right here. And is there any way to fix that? Actually, yes, we can try to give this part some thickness, or you can just uh, separate this area. But both of them probably is not the perfect solution. So if you want to solve this kind of problem, how can we do that? Let's take a look. So right now, we are just, let's isolate this one. 
Right now, for the inner part, we just extrude the inner surface and bending the inside, bending right here. So make this part has some thickness. So that's the way we do working on. If you think this model in a 3D way, and let's talk about a section right here. Uh, let's go to the top view, let's talk about a section. So it will look like this. So this part is the interface, and we just extrude right here, and then bend it right here. So just imagine this one. Okay, this is the inner part. And this is the, this area, okay? So we just send this is the inner back face, and this is the outer, uh, and for the this part it is the outer surface, right? This is the outer surface. So, if you don't want to have this kind of thing happen, how can we do that? Well, it requires some uh, your imagination to solve this one. So we can try to do that. So for now, this is still the inner part. This is right here, right? So you can extrude first, right here, and then bend here, and again, right here. So this is the outer part, and this is still the outer part. So this part will keep like a blue, and this one will be red color, okay? And so this, that's the things we can do right here. And for the rest part, it's the same. This part is the same. And how about that? I think for this time, I don't want to spend that much phase, and also I think it's not necessary to do this area. So you can just keep like that, but if you want to make your model better, uh, you can try to fix this area. Alright? So it's totally up to you. You can try to make this one better, or you can just leave like that. Because this part, I think it doesn't affect that much. But if you take a look about my finished model right here, Uh, let's take a look right here the finished model for this one yes I do finish this one so basically you can probably can see the model bend right here and then you bend again and go inside so the texture facial retention actually is perfect right and for this part as well or well, for this part is not perfect but that's okay Alright, so it's up to you, it doesn't matter that much for me, so you still can use this to make an animation model. Alright, so basically for now you have finished your midterm work, including texture painting, your modeling, and also it's a nice typology. So for the rest of the part, we can, I will leave, you leave that part until the until we finish the midterm. So make sure you have submitted your midterm work to me on time. Alright, uh, sorry for that part. I think we haven't selected give this one a next time. Ctrl and L link the material. Alright, so that's all for today. Make sure you have finished your texture painting and submit your model to me. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time.